Hey guys, Greasel here, and today we're editing Project uh, Equivalents, not my pack. And I just gave myself access to the pack's contents. I've added fancy menu to it. He's currently using custom main menu, and most mods that use packs, most mod packs that use custom main menu come with a resource loader so that these. types of things um, are existing and I'm curious if the 112.2 version of fancy menu can can read the those textures from the thing mm -hmm. so nasty all right what if I want to set the texture or is there a force GUI scale? We need to set that to two. Something that's causing an extreme flicker. All right. We need to set the background. I don't think he was animating. Choose image. No. All right. So this is the old fancy menu really old fancy menu so it doesn't support any of the features that you may have come uh, accustomed to with 120.1 and newer so what we're gonna have to do with it is, is we're gonna have to go and grab all those images from that one mods resource pack this one here just going to copy those and then we're going to disable custom main menu and it's going to we're, we're going to want to put them into the fancy menu and then later versions is called assets but fancy menu in 112.2 allows you to put them anywhere you want i recommend you don't you just create an assets folder and then you just put them in there and it, it's much easier that way so let me see i think that's background number one I'm not sure what screen he was using that on but we did see this one oh quest books menu all right and that's his title and those must be the buttons big buttons and little buttons and those are vanilla buttons so why did that even matter okay let's go back in there and now we're going to disable the custom main menu that way it's going to come up looking vanilla this part of this particular mod pack for 112.2 takes three minutes but you won't know because i'm going to edit all that out except for top stops for a moment to where you see me looking down at my shirt while I clean my eyeglasses to tell you that this part took three minutes and then it resumes we'll show it's a grease resistant eyeglass now his is a this is a very basic menu so it's easy to duplicate it in the fancy menu I'm, now I'm not saying that fancy menu is hard all right so here we are current menu customizations on layout if it's not new you'll be able to manage the layout that's where you have to do it from but this is new so we have to create the layout the layout is created the first thing we want to do is start deleting elements I click on it i hit the delete key and i hit accept click on it hit the delete key and hit accept nobody likes the splash screen this is a replay viewer does he have anybody doing let's plays of his mod pack? Because that's what the replay viewer is for. Now, this button down here is typically, so let's go ahead, let's save, let's save our layout. We'll call it main. We're gonna go 
And we're going to go exit and look at these buttons. Oh yeah, that's the language button. It also appears in the options under language. That's this, this, that, and this are the same thing. See? So that doesn't need to be on the front screen. This, however, might need to be on the front screen. Let's see if it puts itself under options at all. Um, I'm going to say no. Yeah. So for 112.2, that one certainly didn't put the replay viewer definitely to be on the top. Thinking he had that blown out on custom main menu. That might explain why nobody's making any let's plays. You add replay viewer, but eh. This is also a hard mod. I tried to use it and I couldn't wrap my mind around it. All right, so we're gonna go finish editing. See, now we have a layout, so we have to go here, manage layout and hit main and then hit edit. We don't want text editor. You never want to end edit fancy menu in the text. There's, um, what's it uses? It uses the, uh, I want to call it the makeup method or everything in it. I'll show you in the text editor. See these? This is customization meta. Think of that as a drop of makeup. That just says customization. That just says customization. That just says customization. That just says customization. So these keywords are basically saying this is a drop of paint and this drop of paint or piece or makeup that's going on your beautiful face that's already beautiful to begin with. This is the attributes of that makeup. So this was basically the first one and that goes on top, that goes on top, that goes on top. It's, it's a nightmare. Don't edit it this way, especially when there's thousands and thousands of elements. That, that's a possibility if you go hog wild with this. Fancy menu's strength is in using it with the mouse. So just hit edit. All right. I guess we need to see what we're working on. So let's go ahead and add that background, which is now in the assets folder. We're going to hit, I changed it. See, I can cycle between some slideshows and panoramas and background images. I'm going to choose an image and I'm going to hit choose file. And I'm going to come here to config and go over here to fancy menu just get used to going to fancy menu and assets because in 120.1 and later it could be 116.5 and later you're not even allowed outside the fancy menu folder but here in 112.2 i could pull those images from anywhere and i think that led to issues so anyway so we want his project equivalent background which I believe is this one, and that one is title. So I'm going to recommend that you name things what they are. Um, and you would put the type of the thing that they are in the front. So you would put like BG underscore uh, main menu, or BG menu if it's all menus. And then here you would just put title dot PNG. You don't have to say project equivalents and then button two button three this would be button small and then this would be uh, or or small button large button don't have spaces use underscores everything must be lowercase anyways we're choosing this background done hit done again there it is there's his background let's make the screen bigger uh let's see we need to make sure our force gray scale is on two Two. two is the best in my opinion so right click if you're forcing it yes and then we sh should be able to here we go keep background aspect ratio is currently off it has different names and other later versions but it does the same thing so when that is on um, this won't be funny it should be it for that all right let's get this title in there now this title is uh it's a graphic so we're just going to add a graphic set keep background see that was a okay it's a new element 
and then there's an image. I choose a file. We're going to choose this one because we already know it's the title. Choose and done. There it is. So now I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to set its orientation. Later, in later versions of Fancy Menu, when you right click on something to set its orientation or something, you set it, you won't have to drag it nowhere and it won't position anywhere. Oh, like I'll say set orientation top left, but if the thing was over here already, it would com immediately compute the offsets. It wouldn't actually move it to the top left, but in 112.2, it's going to move it. So we're going to want this top centered, and now we're going to do the offset when we just, I'm just going to use the arrow key to take it slightly off the top border. Notice I didn't have to edit no stinking files. Now this will have those default, this gray color background, so I don't think I have to, oh, we want to delete that. That does not need to be on the front screen. And I'm going to set all of these at once. I'm holding control to set all these things as a ah, look at that evil that they did to us. All my say all my settings went away. Be careful what you click on. So it looks like that replay mod button is quite evil. Choose image. So just going through it again. Done. Done. Uh, for Gooey skills probably unset so if you're working with something that has volatile elements in it you might want to save your work often just in case uh, let's go ahead and add that title back new element image choose that's this one and remember we're going to set the orientation to top centered just come off the top a little bit. This way it shows the structure in the background there. All right, let's go ahead and save again. Nothing like some paranoia. All right, let's trash that button right there. And then now I'm going to show you if you hit exit without saving, it will say all unsaved. You have confirm and cancel. Confirm does not save it. That says, are you sure you want to abandon your changes? No, I'm not sure. So I'm going to hit save. Uh, let me see. Let's save again. This is just to be paranoid. Confirm. That looks like his original menu. And those are those buttons that we didn't need to change textures of. Now I'm going to hit control alt c to make this top menu bar go away. When we export the pack, it'll remember that. It won't show that, so you don't need to go edit it in the config to make it not show that. I recommend just leaving it there. That way, if somebody wants to come along and fix your menu, they don't have to go through horse maneuver loop de loops and edit the config to enable it. We did some things that should guarantee that the menu, no matter what I do to the screen, looks nice and the buttons don't overlap. And it is definitely doing that because of the force GUI scale and the uh, and that background scale. So if you want to see that again, Control C, and I think we're going to do layouts, main, edit. Now in the newer ones, you can just directly edit it with properties. And see, we're doing force GUI scale and, oh, why is that not set? Okay, that should be set. It's, oh, it's force GUI scale. Just force GUI scale is all you need. Let's see exactly what that one, that say. This is 112.2. It's been a while for me. It's been a while, friend. Save, exit, firm, control, C. See what it looks like now. Okay. That, mm. Yeah, see? Who plays on a screen that small? It looks janky. I don't know. I'm... Let's see what that looks like without the. 
on the force what is it the background render no, this is for 112.2 keep background aspect ratio on and layout save layout exit firm all right, and this is without that background setting. I want to say it does it anyways, and that setting didn't mean nothing. And that's the basics. Boom. Um, button, just right click on everything. Look for the word texture if you want to change the button texture or whatever. If you want to see me do more. Let me know in the comments below. Also, don't say more, more, more. Tell me what you want to see more of. Go look at the fancy menu wiki. Find something you don't understand and ask me to explain it. I'll gladly do it. All right, so now we're done.